Alright, so I managed to finally find myself a uh, standalone 8-track uh, player. Um, this one says it's stereo, but it's... Okay, we'll call it stereo, why not? But um, I found this for 5 bucks at a uh, uh, an estate sale right down the street from me, within walking distance. And uh, the belt is uh, in good shape. I already just popped it open real quick to look in there. I mean... <clears throat> there isn't even an on button. <laughs> There's one button, and that's just to flip between the uh, different tracks, the four tracks. Um, I have two um, eight tracks right now, uh, just because it's really hard to find good ones. Usually the sponges are all ruined in them. These ones don't actually have the sponge. They have the other little kind of double-tabbed spring in there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, we got... Some Glenn Miller Pure Gold. And some Lillian Family Live. I'll play a little bit of each for you real quick so you can hear the quality. <clears throat> uh, I didn't buy this for quality. I bought it because I always find 8-tracks uh, around that uh, look like they, you know, look like they'd be good to have. And uh, I never ended up buying them because I don't have an 8-track player. And part of the problem with having an 8-track player is, is usually it's attached to some giant, gaudy AM, FM, some other kind of thing. And I don't, I don't really need all that. I want just an 8-track player. And focus. Focus. Come on. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, anyway, so yeah, I uh, bought it just because... <clears throat> I wanted just the eight track, so here's the back of it. I'm gonna come back. Oh, oh, is it gonna? No, I'm gonna zoom in on this anyway, so you can see all the. Hang on. It's a model TD400 Continental Sound Incorporated, Fairfield, New Jersey. <clears throat> uh, it says it's made in Japan, which, uh, yeah, I don't know why the autofocus isn't working on this. This, I guess, isn't necessarily for the video quality, it's for the audio. So I'm firing this back around, I guess. Really? All right. Pop in some Willie Nelson and see what we get. doesn't sound bad. I mean, for me, it's perfect, because my hearing sucks. I mean, there's no on or off button. You just put a tape in and pull one out, and it plays. Couldn't be any simpler, I mean. Wasn't really a lot of dust clogged up in it either, so it might not have a lot of hours on it. Everything inside seemed pretty nice.
that's good stuff. But I won't bore you with all that. I'll listen to all that later when I find a little nook for this to tuck it into. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have the greatest hearing in the world anyway. I'm not really a snob when it comes to audio or video or whatever. I just like, you know, music. And now I have another avenue to buy uh, older music that I like without having to buy CDs and stuff like that. So you never know. Find yourself at a swap meet. Find some something that you haven't seen around on cassette or whatever. And, you know, I like it that way. And just in case you were wondering what I was actually using to play uh, my 8-track player, I have this cassette CD record AM FM CD burner contraption. It's not a Crosley. It's actually pretty nice. It's got two auxiliary ends. It's got RCA inputs in the back, so that's probably what I'll actually use to hook up the 8-track player. I just used the front auxiliary for now, but... um. This thing's pretty nice, uh, so we'll just hook different stuff up to it and listen to my music. Thanks for watching. Perfect.